Forget, get some money. Lest I forget thy agony. Lest I forget thy love for me. Lead me to Calvary. You need a live stream platform, Nola. Okay. A happy Sabbath to all. I would like to read a passage. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never be hungry, and whoever believes in me shall never be thirsty. But to you, as I said, do not believe, although you have seen. 
I, wel I welcome you all for this Vesper service. And for the first song, let's sing 334. Come thou fount of every blessing. Let's sing 317, Lead Me to Calvary. King of my life, I crown thee now, thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy torn ground, bro, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Show me the tomb where thou was laid, tenderly mourned and wept. Angels in robes of light arrayed, God at the whilst thou slept. Let me forget the ceremony, lest I forget thine Calvary. Show at me like Mary through the gloom. Come with the 
give to thee. Show to me now the empty tomb. Lead me to Calvary. Yes, I forget get some money. Lest I forget thine agony. Lest I forget thy love for me. Lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear daily my cross for thee. Even thy cup of grief to share, thou hast borne all for me. Lest I forget get some lest I forget thine agony. Lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. For our opening song, let's sing 216, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair when the seed of earth shall gather on the, the other shore and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder when the roll called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there on that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise when holy of his resurrection shall when his souls and one shall gather to their home beyond the skies, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. Yonder I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. When a fall of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder 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 I'll be there thank you all for your participation Let us pray. Most gracious Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for giving us one more Sabbath day in our life. We thank you for leading us, guiding us, protecting us throughout all the harms and dangers in the past. And let us safely, Lord, so that we'll be able to see one more Sabbath in our lifetime. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege that we have here, Lord, a time that we can spend 
with this family to worship you to praise you and to know more about you lord we lord as we stay here we ask your presence to be with us so that we'll be blessed abundantly lord continue to be with us lord and continue to be with the speaker of this hour this time as he is going to give the message may it come from you lord and may it help us to come even more closer to you bless all the members lord uh, bless the people who are unable to attend be with each and every one of them in a very special way take care of them lead them and guide them lord finally lord help us to walk closer and faithful to you we ask all these blessings in the name of lord and savior jesus christ amen Good evening, everyone. Uh, we have um, just a few people here this evening, uh, but we believe that many of you are online, or um, maybe just getting back from work, or maybe just uh, skimming through your YouTube on the phone. Thank you, Jatson, for the song service. We have been immensely blessed. This evening, I'm going to talk to you about something interesting, and I want this to change me, my family, and all the families in our church. All right? So let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for, uh, for teaching us. I pray, Father, that you would... Uh, that you would just make this evening's encounter with you special. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One of the most interesting songs that we sing during our Sabbath is hymn number 388. What's that song? Don't forget the Sabbath. Uh, how many of you like that song? What do you like about that song? Tell me, Noah. I'll just read the words. If you got your church hymnal, read it with me. It says, don't forget the Sabbath the Lord of God has blessed. Of all the week, the brightest. Of all the week, the best. It brings response from labor. It tells of joy divine. Its beams of light descending with heavenly beauty shine. Keep the Sabbath holy and worship him today. Who said to his disciples, I am the living way. And if we meekly follow our Savior here below, he'll give us of the fountain whose streams eternal flow. Day of sacred pleasure, it's golden hours we spend in thankful hymns to Jesus, our, the children's dearest friend. O oh, gentle, loving Savior, how good and kind thou art. How precious is thy promise to dwell in every heart. And so what's the chorus for this? What's the chorus? Welcome, welcome, ever welcome. Blessed Sabbath day. Welcome, welcome, Ever welcome, blessed Sabbath day. What a song. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Exodus chapter 20. We're going to just look at the story and the command given. Exodus chapter 20. We read the Sabbath command. It seemed to be one of the biggest here. It says, In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, the Bible reads, 
Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor manservant, nor maidservant, animals within your gate, or your stranger within your gate. For in six days the Lord made heavens and the earth and the seas and all in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. We find the Sabbath mentioned in Genesis. We find the Sabbath mentioned in, in the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. And we find the Sabbath also mentioned in the book of Revelation. So we find this concept of rest so beautifully entwined throughout the scripture. As Seventh-day Adventists, we pretty much think... We know everything about the Sabbath, don't we? This song, Noah, was written by who? This song was written by Fanny G. Crossby. Although she was blinded by an illness at the age of six weeks, she never became bitter. One time a preacher sympathetically remarked. What did that preacher remark? I think it's a great pity that the master did not give you sight. When he showered so many blessings on you and gifts, she quickly replied, do you know that if at birth I had been able to make one petition, it would be have been that I should be born blind. Why ask the surprise preacher? Because when I get to heaven, the first face that shall ever gladden my sight will be the face of my Savior. Because when I get to heaven... The first face that shall ever gladden my sight will be that of my Savior. Which was the face Adam saw the first? The face of God. In these early years, as many expected, Fanny was read a great deal about the Bible. She had unusual memory, okay? Noah said that by the age of 10, she could probably recite four books of the Old Testament and four books of the New Testament. Yet she was not always found in the grandma's arm, rocking the chair and listening to some songs from the Bible. She played. She climbed trees. She jumped over things. She rode horses. She played with pets. She attended school at times to listen to the readings and the recitations that she learned. She learned to work with needles. She loved outdoor. She loved wind. She loved sunshine. She loved thunder. She loved the songs of birds. She loved flowers and even brooks. One day, D.L. Moody asked Fanny Crossby to give a testimony. At first, she hesitated. Then, one day, she rose and said, There is one hymn I've written which I've never published. It's called My Soul's Poem. I repeat it to myself, for it brings comfort to my heart. And she recited that poem and wept. Someday the silver cord will break. And I no more as now shall sing. Oh, the joy when I shall wake within the palace of the king. And I shall see him face to face. And tell the story saved by grace. You know, Fanny Crossby set more hearts and voices praising God than any woman who ever lived. She sang more hymns of hope than any human being. You want to take a guess of how many songs and hymns she wrote? Poems? She wrote about 9,000. 
Many stories have been told about her. She entered what was then known as the New York Institution for the Blind at the age of 15. And later, she taught English and history there. As a student and as a teacher, she spent 35 years in the school. She was often asked by many people to recite poems or sing a song. She met presidents, generals, dignitaries. After leaving teaching, she dedicated her life to serving the poorest and the neediest, supporting them with the writings of poem and writing songs. She would get $2 for a small publication. And that would go in caring for the poor. Her mission, work, is legendary, as is her devotion to serving others above herself. In 1864, she wrote the first hymn that received worldwide fame, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. Her memory was one of the greatest gifts. Her retention of scripture, her remembrance of people, persons, events, and her ability to quote poetry, not only her own, but others, gave her a great audience always. When she was 86 years old, she wrote, if I were given a little time in which to do it, I would take down the shelves of memory, hundreds, not thousands of hymns that I've written in the 60 years during which I have been praising my Redeemer through this medium of songs. So she believed that these songs have brought so much richness to her life. Now here, I'm going to stop. We like this hymn, right, don't we? Don't forget the Sabbath. Did you know she wrote this beautiful hymn but she did not have the light of the Sabbath. She didn't understand the Sabbath. She didn't keep the Sabbath not she didn't understand the blessings that God had for the Sabbath. But every time, what song we sing? Don't forget the Sabbath. She was not a Sabbath keeper. But somehow she believed in you that the Sabbath has special blessings. Now this evening, I want to ask all of you. Number one, how do you keep the Sabbath? How do you keep the Sabbath? Coming to church, getting ready, going back home, doing your lesson study, and uh, sleeping and getting ready for church and coming to church and have you all your Sabbath school program, you have your story time, divine service, then you have your meal, then you do some outreach. That's how we think we keep the Sabbath. Now, what is that stanza, chorus of that song? What's the chorus of that song? Welcome, welcome, ever welcome. So now, I'm going to ask all of you this question. How do you welcome the Sabbath? Philip Matthew, Anna, how do you welcome the Sabbath? Mr. Noah, how do you welcome the Sabbath? Mr. Suganraj, how do you welcome the Sabbath? Do we have a welcome for the Sabbath? You know, um, the Jews have been keeping the Sabbath for thousands of years. And did you know that the welcome of the Sabbath was the most important part of the Sabbath for them. The welcome. They believed 
Sabbath was like a guest coming home. Would you welcome a guest? Yes. Or you would say, just open the door and come in. No. You prepare for that guest coming home. And something more interesting is that they believed the Sabbath was like not just coming at 6.45 or quarter to 7. The Sabbath, they believed, was like, like a dew coming slowly, slowly inside. And they believed that the Sabbath actually slowly comes in by afternoon. Coming, coming, coming. The Sabbath was so precious to a Jew. The whole family will meet Friday evening. What? The whole family will meet together as one family Friday evening. They would stand around the table. Maybe they will take a shofar and play it. The shofar, by the way, was one of the, one of the oldest instruments known to man. It has a, it has a, it has a, it has a bend that talks about humility. And as they play that, it is reverence that comes in. And then they would take candles and light it. Some have a menorah kind of candle. Some take two candles. Some light many candles, as many in the home. And as they light these candles, they say a prayer. In some contexts, they have two candles. One a symbol of creation, the other the symbol of redemption. They believe that the first creation was light. And therefore light is important for us to understand who God is. Because they believe that Sabbath was the only day with a name. And the Jewish culture, what was Sunday? Six days to Sabbath. What was Monday? Five days to Sabbath. What was Tuesday? Four days to Sabbath. What was Wednesday? Three days to Sabbath. What was Friday? Preparation for Sabbath. There was no names for these days. It was first day, second day, third day, but only one day had a name. Sabbath. You know... Last Sunday was Jatson's birthday, right? Jatson, I want to ask you this question. You looked forward for your birthday, right? You were waiting for your birthday, right? You were excited of your, for your birthday, right? That was Sabbath. It was a delight. It was joy. It was not all oh, the Sabbath came. No, it was the most beautiful longing for the week. They had a special bread that they bake. And as the, they say, as the woman baked this bread, they pray and they, and, 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 and they, they need the dough of that bread. And that bread is on that table. They have grape juice on that table and all the delicacies that you could 
wish to have. After they lit the candle, the husband will call the wife and then he will place his hand on her and then he will recite maybe a portion from the Song of Solomon or he would recite Proverbs 31 and he would probably have a prayer. The prayer would be, may you be like Sarah, may you be like Rebecca of the Bible. And he blesses her, telling her, you are special to me. And then the wife will place his hand on the husband. And then she will offer a special prayer for him. And then they will have a special prayer for the children who are watching. It was customary to wash their hands. And as they wash their hands, they are reminded that the Sabbath was sanctified. It was holy, special. And as they broke the bread, they would say, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brought forth bread from the earth. And they would thank God for the grape juice, reminding them of God's special care for their family. And they would eat the meal together after praising God. And after the meal, they would offer a prayer, thanking God for the Sabbath. How is our Sabbath? Is it anything close to that? How many of you have your children around you on Sabbath? Our most important meal is Saturday afternoon, not Friday. The most interesting, most powerful part of the Sabbath was the divine service preacher. But for them, the most powerful, the most inspirational, the most beautiful part of the Sabbath was Friday evening. Not Saturday afternoon. For a Jewish person, working on Sabbath was, was not something that they were struggling to do. They don't have to work because it is, it's a special day. It's a day of freedom to know God more. You know, as I was looking at it, I was thinking, how many families have family problem? Husbands don't talk to their wives and wives don't talk to the husbands. How many families where children do not value the parents? What if? Every Friday evening, the husband prays a special prayer for his wife. Reads Proverbs 31 and says, my wife, you are blessed. And the wife touches the husband and prays for him and says, you are a blessing to our family. And they put their hands around the children and ask God for special blessings on them. And that they will eat the food, thanking God for the provisions that God has made for them this week. 
thanking God for the bread, thanking God for, for the grape juice, thanking God for the beauty of the Sabbath that comes in. You know, one thing about the Jews, very strange from any one of our communities. They thank God for the Ten Commandments. How many of you pray, Dear God, thank you for the Ten Commandments. No. They thank God for the law. Because inside the law, they see the love of God. This, uh, this evening, Welcome, welcome, ever welcome. Blessed Sabbath day. I don't know how we got to realign our homes, our families, okay? I want to change this church. I want to see a change in every home. That the Sabbath begins in welcome. So next week, I wish every family will have a special Sabbath experience Friday evening. Amen. We learned something. We'll share. Maybe I'll share the recipe of how to make a, a Jewish bread. One of, we'll make a special meal for Sabbath evening. The husband and wife... You get to pray for each other. I'll probably share a prayer that you can pray for each other. Get the children there. Thank them. Teach them to thank God for the blessings of that week and eat a meal together thanking God for the blessings of family. Sabbath was made for man. Not man for the Sabbath. We can come to church and still go back without welcoming and relishing the blessings of the Sabbath. God bless you all. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? Father in heaven, I fall into this category of just never recognizing that the Sabbath is all about the beginning. How we begin determines how we end. As Seventh-day Adventists, we have a culture. Getting ready, cleaning, and bringing all the, the needed supplies. But we have never valued welcoming. Like your presence into our hearts, into our lives, into our homes. I pray, Father, that henceforth every family in this church will have a different experience every Friday evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. We have a very, very special program. It's the Women's Ministries Emphasis Sabbath. They have a special program planned. We want you to be on time. Thank God for your families. Pray with them. Share a meal with them. And remind each of them that they are special. God bless you. Happy Sabbath.